Ever since the moment that our universe was created by the Big Bang more than 13.7 billion years ago, scientists have never stopped searching for answers in the process of our formation. For all the mysteries that have emerged regarding the black void that seems to surround us, that did not stop our minds from imagining the most terrifying aliens, TV shows, and science fiction concepts. Yet, as scientists venture on into the void day by day, they are only shedding more light on what is out there in the vastness of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest advancements in the field of space exploration. NASA scientists detect evidence of a parallel universe where time runs backwards. For decades, our TV screens have been riddled with science fiction shows weaving stories of parallel universes and describing realms filled with time travel and aliens alike. Well, new research as recent as 2020 suggests that these ideas are not quite so far-fetched, as scientists describe actions of particles resembling expectations of parallel universes, where both the rules of time and physics appear to be inverted to our own. The idea of a multiverse has not always been confined to our comic books and fictional tales. It has been suggested for numerous years that there is a likelihood of a multiverse existing, and subsequent research that has been conducted for years now has taken this possibility into account. One often cited area of physics that has considered the possibility of a parallel universe is quantum mechanics, with the many worlds theory first proposed by American physicist Hugh Everett III in 1957, whilst completing his doctoral thesis at Princeton University. This informed his relative state formulation, which has impacted the field for decades now. While undeniably influential, the impact of the many worlds interpretation has not been isolated nor uncontested by any means. At the time of publication by Everett, the leading, dominating and ultimately competing theory was the Copenhagen interpretation, a wider explanation of quantum physics, with a much broader meaning and more contradictory ideas within it. Even today, the Copenhagen interpretation dominates the discourse and discussions of quantum mechanics. Or will that change with this new 2020 discovery? An experiment aiming to detect cosmic rays appears to have discovered particles that many scientists have suggested are from a universe, world or realm that is parallel to our own. If a universe of this nature genuinely exists, current theories suggest that its formation likely coincides with our own, being born by the Big Bang. These leading field experts used apparatus described as a giant balloon to move NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, also known as ANITA, to above Antarctica. Antarctica made for an ideal location for the employment of this technology, as the environmental factors, including dry air and a distinct lack of radio noise, left few extraneous variables to distort and corrupt the data and findings. We discovered here that Earth has a consistent, constant arrival of high-energy particles, entering our atmosphere from outer space. It has been well established that low-energy particles known as subatomic neutrinos with a mass nearing zero are able to pass through Earth with ease. We also believed, until now, that the particles with high energy have been unable to pass through our planet, being stopped by the solid matter of the Earth itself. This new research, conflicting with established premises, has been assumed to indicate that these particles are coming up out of the Earth, emitting particles with a heavier mass, known as tau neutrinos, as detected by ANITA. The previous idea, however, had been that we are experiencing high-energy particles coming down from outer space to the Earth. So what do scientists think this inverted trajectory means? Simply put, many physicists believe that these new, bizarre particles are travelling back in time, providing possible evidence to support the idea of a parallel universe where the time runs backwards to our own. Experimental particle physicist Peter Gorham and principal ANITA investigator explained that the only other explanation as to the odd behaviour of the tau neutrino particle is that it had somehow shifted into a new particle before passing through the Earth, and then changing back into its original state once again. 
Of course, many skeptics were quick to voice an opinion here, despite this phenomenon having seemingly limited explanations, though we cannot be certain either way as to exactly what is happening with the tau neutrino particle. Will more particles arise to support the idea of a backward parallel universe, or will this discovery simply become the future material of a sci-fi episode? China spacecraft sends Mars footage for the first time. Breaking news within the early days of 2021 comes from the latest space exploration mission conducted by the China National Space Administration. The 5th of February 2021 saw the release of images and video footage of the surface of Mars captured by China's Mars probe named Tianwen-1. This video footage gives us a closer insight than has ever been possible before, providing a view of Mars's surface. Tianwen-1 entered the Red Planet's orbit on the 10th of February 2021 and captured a clip of the surface of Mars moving in and out of view. The remarkable video footage provided by this aspirational and resoundingly successful mission shows us white craters, according to news reports. The equipment used for this fantastic space exploration quest, Tianwen-1, features a Mars orbiter lander and solar-powered rover and weighs a staggering five tons. This progress in space exploration presents a momentous step forward in the Beijing space program, aiming to compete with the US advancements of NASA. Could Tianwen-1, whose name translates to Questions to Heaven, present a turning point for exponential growth in the China National Space Administration? Current predictions and growth markets suggest that by 2022, there could be a space station fully equipped with a crew established by the China National Space Administration. Increasing the close quarters in this space discovery again is that the first ever United Arab Emirates interplanetary mission accomplished this same feat. Later within the same week, the United Arab Emirates Hope probe entered Mars's orbit too. Such close competition certainly introduces new perspectives and even more levels of success to the Beijing space mission. Whilst Mars has long proved to be a problem and a point of mystery in discovery and space research, we have already gained a wealth of new knowledge from this new video footage, including geological observations from the Shia Pirelli crater and the Valles Marineras canyons. Enceladus may have ocean currents like we see around Antarctica. At first glance, pictures of Saturn's moon Enceladus reveals a topography not unlike a pile of wrinkled bedsheets. The icy white surface of the lunar satellite is unlike our own earthy one because of the apparent lack of pitted, mottled craters caused by passing space debris. Instead, Enceladus is crisscrossed with jagged, wrinkle-like structures that reveal the icy landscape of the Moon that harbors a similarity with our own home planet, a vast, salty ocean. Unlike our own seven seas, however, Enceladus has one globe-spanning and entirely subsurface ocean. Furthermore, this space ocean is warmer towards the core of the planet and colder near its surface, as its temperature is regulated by the planet's icy surface. It is also far, far deeper than Earth's oceans, at over 30 kilometers deep as opposed to our three and a half kilometer deep seas. But while there are many differences, there are a few key similarities, among them their shared salinities and currents. Earthbound scientists have studied these currents in the only environment that most closely mimics Enceladus, that's Antarctica. Due to the large but rapidly declining polar ice caps that cover the Southern Ocean, the water temperatures are similarly regulated. The currents in Antarctica are largely caused by and manipulated by wind and lunar gravity, but they are also influenced by varying degrees of salinity, just as they are on Enceladus. These space currents are propelled around due to the changing levels of density, which are influenced by the amount of salt in the water. As salt water melts near Enceladus's north and south poles, the weight of the water changes and rises and falls accordingly, creating currents. So why are these temperatures and currents and varying levels of salinity on a distant Saturn-based moon so important? According to both the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and NASA, who jointly launched the Cassini space probe to study Enceladus, 
These oceanic similarities could be key to finding signs of life beyond Earth. The lunar ocean currents could distribute and maintain temperature and saline-based nutrient levels that are vital to sustaining life. NASA's Perseverance rover is ready to hunt signs of life on Mars. Arguably the world's most preeminent and famous geologist and astrobiologist has just publicly revealed the first results of NASA-led experiments to search for life on Mars. But wait, humanity has not even set foot on more than the Moon, let alone Mars. Who is this scientific genius I have never heard of? Well, the astrobiologist responsible for the most exciting scientific advancements in space exploration to date is not human at all. It is the Jet Propulsion Laboratory designed Perseverance rover. The world watched in wonder and bated breath as the rover landed at long last on the Red Planet back in February of 2020. In the year plus that has followed, the rover has been steadily at work conducting experiments on the Martian terrain and surrounding atmosphere, searching for signs of life. And now, nearly a year and a half later, the results of the experiments have finally beamed back to Earth. So what do they reveal? The rover has been working almost exclusively in what is called the Jezero Crater, which is a large indentation that likely held some kind of ocean or giant lake millions of years ago. Using a robotic arm fitted with an X-ray scanner, Perseverance has been slowly scanning the surface and subsurface of the lake bottom and mapping the topography of the soil and surrounding landscape. Those images were beamed back to NASA for further study, and according to JPL geologist Abigail Allwood, they allow scientists to view the best-ever composition analysis of Martian dust before it even looked at rock. Another cutting-edge space tool aboard Perseverance is lovingly dubbed Watson, or the Wide Angle Topographic Sensor for Operations and Engineering. Watson is responsible for taking extremely close-up and detailed pictures of Martian rocks so that earthbound scientists can study their geological makeup for factors like color, grain size, and texture. Perseverance will also be storing and saving Martian rock samples on board its structure for later use by manned missions to Mars in the coming decades. Additional samples will be placed on a probe that will be jettisoned back to Earth for study in labs far more advanced than what can be sent to Mars. Perseverance is not working alone on the Red Planet, however. It is accompanied by the Ingenuity Mars Copter, a tiny four-pound, semi-autonomous drone-style helicopter that was tucked safely away in the belly of Perseverance until scientists at the JPL initiated a radio sequence that turned the helicopter on. Ingenuity is not designed to conduct experiments, but its purpose is to prove that flight, manned or autonomous, is possible within Mars's low-oxygen and low-gravity environment. The mini-helicopter has since been able to fly successfully for roughly a minute and a half, exceeding most engineering expectations. It does have a tiny camera attached to it, much like the drones used here on Earth that have been able to send back picture-perfect, third-party perspective images of its mothercraft, Perseverance. As the rover and its Mars copter explore the Martian terrain, the scientific developments that come from their research cannot be overstated. Mars is the closest planet to Earth that has the best chance of sustaining human life. We may be able to call ourselves Martians sooner than we expected. But what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.